guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for the second part of the Face Shop Disney collaboration. If you guys didn't see my last cushion review, I did do it on the Pooh Bear one. This time it's going to be on the Mickey one. This is just what the box looks like. And this is what the actual product looks like. It has the standard Mickey look. It's really cute. It does have the pop-up 3D effect just like the Pooh Bear one. And this one is a BB cushion compared to the Pooh Bear which is a CC cushion. And just like the Pooh Bear one, it is supposed to reduce wrinkles, brighten, and protect against UV rays. This one does has SPF 50. This one is actually supposed to instantly power correct skin imperfections, covering up blemishes, and making skin look healthy and radiant. Power hydration helps minimize visible dry patches. This has African walnut oil and sea buckthorn fruit extract to moisturize, brighten, and make skin smooth. Power firming that creates a volumizing effect. I'm not sure how I'm going to see a volumizing effect. So I guess we'll just get started at the look of this. I do want to say that even though I really love what it looks like, I think it would have been even cooler if they had put red at the bottom kind of to symbolize his red pants that he always wears you know so this is what it looks like when you open it up i have the cushion right here product is right here so i'm not going to waste any time i'm going to what you guys can't see and and let's get started i guess so i'm gonna do this side i usually always do this side just to see how it covers up i don't i think i mentioned it well I think I mentioned it that this one comes in two colors. I actually lied. It comes in three different colors. Usually when using a Asian product, they tend to really white cast. So right away, I actually smell the same scent as the Pooh Bear one. It smells very refreshing and it's not a bad scent, at least not to me. As far as coverage so far, it's doing a pretty decent job. The only thing right now that's kind of worrying me is kind of the white cast that I'm seeing. Usually when I try these products, it takes a moment for it to sink into my skin. So that's what I'm gonna most likely do once I'm done this side. I do feel like it's hydrating my skin. So this is what half of my face looks like. I'm gonna continue doing half of my face. I just wanted to show you guys and I wanted to see the comparison. Okay, so I am back. I decided to put on the rest of my skin, my skin, <laughs> my makeup. And so this is the outcome. So I have to admit this covers up my imperfections. They actually weren't kidding when they say cover up your imperfections. You guys know that I'm always complaining about my acne scars. This cushion actually covered them up about, I wanna say 70-80%, which is pretty crazy, especially for a BB cushion. Usually, most of the time when I try BB cushions or BB creams in general, they do an okay job at hiding my acne scars and things like that and just overall coverage. But this is actually pretty good coverage, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually pretty happy about it. I would say that this is a buildable coverage. Light to medium coverage, covers up your imperfections. Not to like the highest degree where you can tell that you're using something to cover it up, but just enough where it really does hide about 80% of it. And the overall finish, I didn't use a setting powder or anything like that. It's a little bit on the dewy side, just like, just a little bit but not enough for me to hate it. I actually like the way it feels. It feels more hydrated, but I'm guessing that's because of all like the, what is it? The, what is it? Wal African walnut oil and the fruit extract and all of that stuff that's listed in the ingredients. So I am going to come back in a couple of hours. I'll give you guys a quick update. So see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so I am back with the second update. I see it's doing pretty well. I did notice that it does have a more, it's kind of weird because it has like a hydrating finish, but it also has sort of a powdery finish. It's kind of weird to explain, but I'm not going to go too deep into details in the second kind of update. I wanted to save that for the last one, but you guys saw earlier, I did have a little bit of a problem with the white casting. Right now, it's actually sunk into my skin. It's keeping my skin covered. It's keeping my skin hydrated. Yeah, so far so good. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated in a couple of hours for my last review. So I will see you guys in a little bit. 
Hey guys, so I am back for my last review on this cushion foundation. Okay, so overall, I have been wearing this for a good few hours, 10 hours I'd have to say, and I'm pretty surprised at how well it held up. I did do a lot of stuff today. I did sweat today, which is kind of why I'm appearing a little bit more sheeny like kind of dewy like i didn't actually touch up or anything like that because it wasn't to the point where it was like really oily okay so as far as coverage i said earlier that my acne scars were pretty much covered 80 percent and i do have to say that they're peeking out but not bad enough where it's like disturbing me i'd have to say it's about light to medium i feel you can build up more with this cushion than you can with the Pooh Bear one which is a CC cushion because this one is a BB cushion I feel you can have much more leeway with it you can cover up more with this cushion there is a scent to it when you start putting it on you can really smell it but after like maybe a minute it goes away I did feel like it kept me hydrated throughout the day it, even though like I do have oily to combination skin it didn't create any dry patches which is, which is like you know really great because right now my skin is more on the dry side so yeah i'd have to actually say that this is i actually think i like this one better than the pooh bear one which is really kind of crazy because the pooh bear one is a cooling cushion this one has no cooling in it whatsoever but cooling can only go so far as coverage coverage obviously powers over cooling you know coverage is more a little uh, just a little bit more important than keeping my face cool so i feel like if you're looking for a light to medium finish bb cushion this one would actually be really really good i will warn you there is a white cast when you first put it on it does oxidize within a few minutes you know just let it kind of sink in i usually like to do my makeup while i'm waiting for it to sink in and because i didn't touch it up i felt like i honestly didn't really need to the only downside is of course that there are only three colors in this which really sucks but i have seen some evolutions in color choices recently like in the etude house if you want to have a more broader range i suggest the laneige line which i did also do a review on so yeah i'm, I'm really really happy with this i'm really pleased with this product i thought i was gonna like the pooh bear better than this one but it turns out that good old mickey is always gonna be number one for me also don't think i remember i don't remember if i put down prices for this these do retail for about twenty dollars each so you know it's not too expensive it's kind of in the middle range you know it's not too expensive but it's not cheap either if you're going for a more cheaper one i would definitely recommend the etude house ones those are ones i hear are really really good i do want to try those out i feel like this would be a really good everyday cushion foundation i know i'm going to be wearing this much more frequently in the future especially during the winter and fall seasons because i like to keep a little bit of moisture in my skin so if you're looking for a more light to medium coverage with plenty of moisture and hydration and things like that for the skin then i would definitely suggest using this one gave me plenty of hydration but not like the oiliness or the greasiness or anything heavy like that it wasn't heavy it wasn't cakey i feel like you could build this up to a pretty decent medium coverage so that's what i like about this cushion and of course it's you know disney so you can't go wrong with that so that is going to be it for this review i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye